So welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number 25 from the May June 2023 at Excel IGCSE. This is the International GCSE Paper Maths. Um, this is A, and um, the code is 4MA12HR. And here we're given a question about a straight line with equation y equals or y minus 2x equals 7. And we're told that this line is the perpendicular bisector of the line AB, where A is a point with coordinates J7 and B is the point with coordinates 6K. Find the coordinates of the midpoint of the line AB, show clear algebraic working. Okay, so there's a couple of things that you need to take care of here. You need to understand what it means by perpendicular bisector. Okay, so the word perpendicular bisector means a line which cuts... Um, another line you could say in two equal halves and goes right through um, it at 90 degrees okay perpendicular means that 90 degrees bisector cuts it in two equal halves so we have the line y minus 2x equals 7 which I'm going to rewrite as y equals 2x plus 7 just rearranging it and from here we can see the gradient of this line is going to be 2 and we can see that the y-intercept is going to be 7 Okay, and we can see that it's going to cross the x-axis um, when y equals 0, which will be minus 7 over 2. So minus 3.50 is going to cross the x-axis. So what we can do is, I mean, it's always good, um, I find, in such questions, to make a little sketch just to picture what's going on. I would always advise students to make a, a sketch to kind of, like, visualize what's happening. So we have this straight line, which is... Um, going to have a gradient of 2 it's going to go through 3.5 and 7 so I'll just say say this is 3.5 negative 3.5 sorry and 7 I'm not going to really draw it to scale but something like this and it will go it's a straight line so that's the line which is the perpendicular bisector of the two points that they gave us or they gave us part of those points so it says A is a point J7. So J7, it's going to be somewhere in line with, um, you know, this place where the line passes the y-axis. So y coordinate will be 7, and B is going to be 6K. So it's going to be somewhere on this side. Where you've got 6. So let's say that this, this is 6. And this point is going to be somewhere over here. Okay. So let's say that the point um, J7 will be somewhere around here. We don't know exactly, but we're just giving a, a little sketch. So J7, and here you'll have 6K. Now the line joining these two points is going to have to go through this um, at right angles because it's cut in half. It's cut, it's cut like this line joining these two points. Let me draw it in a, a different way. The line joining A and B has to be cut by this line at right angles. So something like that. It's just a rough kind of sketch here. So let's call, let's call this point 6 and K. 6 and K. So this this line is a perpendicular bi bisector of AB. So it cuts it into two equal halves and it cuts it at 90 degrees. And it cuts it through its midpoint. So the midpoint of um, AB I'm going to call it capital M. Okay, that's the midpoint of AB, right? So we have to find the coordinates of the midpoint of AB. That's what we have to find. We have to find what these coordinates are. Okay, that's what we have to find. That's our goal here, all right? So we have a few different bits of information that's going to help us. One of them is we know that this is the midpoint of AB. So we know that the midpoint of AB is going to have... Um, you know, the coordinates of M, I'll just call it coordinates of M. Okay, M is the midpoint of AB. Okay, it's going to have coordinates which are the average of the x coordinates of A and B. So you're going to have the x coordinate of A, which is J, plus x coordinate of B, which is 6, over 2. And then you have the x coordinate of the y coordinate of A, which is 7, plus the y coordinate of B, which is K, divided by 2. So th those are the midpoints um, of, that's the midpoint of AB. Okay, so that's the coordinates of the point M. And the second thing we know is that the gradient 
so I'll call small m the gradient of the line AB is going to be the negative reciprocal of the gradient of the line that we're given okay y equals 2x plus 7 so the gradient of AB is going to be the negative reciprocal so you're going to have to change its sign and turn it upside down remember this is like 2 over 1 so it becomes negative a half so I can I know that the point A has coordinates of j7 as we're told and b has coordinates 6k as we're told so we can work out we can make a, a little formula for the gradient so we can say that the gradient of a b okay so you can say minus a half is equal to the change in y which is 7 minus k over the change in x which is j minus 6 so we can connect these together with one equation we can uh, if i multiply both sides by uh, j minus 6 and by um, we'll multiply both sides by basically uh, negative 2 okay we'll just say 2 for now multiply both sides by 2 okay then in fact what I'll do I'll just cross multiply it's easier okay, I'll just multiply by bo multiplying both sides by 2 you have 7 minus k on this side multiplied by 2 and here you have minus 1 times j minus 6. So I've multiplied both sides by 2 and both sides by j minus 6 to give me this. So I'm going to end up with 6 minus j equals 14 minus 2k. 14 minus 2k. So what I can do is I can actually rearrange this to make j the subject. So I can say j is equal to, I'll have 2k, I have 6 minus 14 minus 8. So j is equal to 2k minus 8. So now I can take my midpoint and I can say j is 2k minus 8 so I have 2k minus 8 and plus 6 over 2 and 7 plus k over 2 so I can make this in a more kind of um, both in terms of one letter k so this is going to be 2k minus 2 over 2 so 2k take away 2 over 2 and 7 plus k over 2 which we can even simplify further we can take out 2 as a common factor and cancel out the 2 so we end up with k minus 1 and 7 plus k over 2 so those are the coordinates of m in terms of um, k all right and so if i can find what k is i can find the midpoint and now i'll be done all right so how do i find k well we've linked this question together um, a and b are connected by the fact that the midpoint of A and B is M. So we work that out from that. Uh, they're also connected together by the gradient being negative a half because we know the gradient of their perpendicular bisector. The gradient of the line joining A and B must be negative a half. The other thing that connects them is the fact that the point M, okay, the midpoint of the, the, those two points lies on, okay, the line Y equals 2X plus 7. So M lies on and this is the th this is the key to the question a lot of students might have got this far and they don't know what to do next but you have to understand that if m lies on y equals 2x plus 7 that means the court this is this x coordinate of m and this y coordinate of m will satisfy this equation okay so that means m satisfies the equation of this line Okay, the equation. So the x value, if I replace the x with what x is and with the y with what y is, I mean, that will give me an equation that connects these together and it will just have k in it and I'll be able to work out what k is and I'll, get, I'll be able to work out my midpoint. So I'm going to replace the y, have y equals 2x plus 7. So I'll replace the y with 7 plus k over 2 and I'll replace the x with k minus 1. And I have plus 7 so now because this this point lies on that line okay then this point satisfies the equation of the line okay the y value of every point in this line will always be 2 times x value plus 7 that's what connects the points on this line every point in this line that's true so the y value of this point must be 2 times x value plus 7 as well because it lies on the line so now we can work out what k is Let's just get rid of the fraction first. 7 plus k equals 2 times 2, which is 14. Sorry, which is 4. 14. 4 times k minus 1 plus 
what I meant was 2 times 7 is 14. You have to multiply both, both terms here by 4. So 7 plus k equals 4, k minus 4 plus 14. So 7 plus k is equal to 4k plus 10. So if I, um, if I subtract k from both sides and I subtract 10 from both sides, I'm left with negative 3. Negative 3 is equal to 3k. Therefore, k is equal to negative 1. So if I know k is equal to negative 1, then I can work out my answer. The midpoint, therefore, is going to be minus 1 minus 1. And for here, you're going to have 7 minus 1 over 2. So the midpoint is going to be minus 2 and 7 minus 1, which is 6, divided by 2, which is 3. So there is the answer. The midpoint is minus 2, 3. Okay, minus 2, 3. Kind of looks right in terms of the way we sketched it as well. And we could even work out, we, we worked out the k coordinate is minus 1. That kind of looks, 6 minus 1 looks right. And if that's the case, then the j, j would be 2k minus 8, so it would be mi minus 10, which also looks kind of like minus 10, 10 looks. It looks kind of like quite uh, realistic according to our sketch. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. Um, I hope that was clear. This is a bit of a, a more kind of deeper question in terms of thinking. You have to link together these things. Um, but the links are the perpendicular bisector cuts the two points in exactly at their midpoint, okay, exactly halfway through them. So the, the point M must be exactly halfway between these two. And the perpendicular bisector cuts the line joining them exactly at right angles. So the, we can work out the gradient between these two is negative a half. And then we can connect together the equation we get Okay, so that helps us connect together, uh, you know, finding j in terms of k, basically. And once we've done that, we can, you know, um, work out the midpoints in terms of one letter. And then we can connect those together in the equation of the line, because the midpoint lies on this perpendicular bisector, so it satisfies the equation. The y-coordinate of every point on that line, which this point is on that line, must be 2 times the x-coordinate plus 7, and then that gives us a value of k. And then we have to use that value of k to find the actual midpoint. Right, so many students might stop there actually and not think about answering the actual question. In the end, we have to put the midpoint of AB, which is 2, negative 2, 3. So that concludes this question. I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular uh, paper can be found in the playlist that will appear on the top right of the page at the end of the video. Other questions from the topic of straight line graphs from my Edexcel um, collection of IGCSE questions, you can find them in the playlist over here. For my Cambridge collection, you can find over here. Okay, I have the uh, new Cambridge 2025 uh, section here as well. And you'll find that you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.